Hey everyone, this is Gentex Guy here, and this is going to be the second system test uh, with my Notifier AFP100 addressable demo board system. So first of all, I apologize for not using a tripod. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of time to make this video, so yeah, that's why. Uh, you know, sorry, but uh, it's what I can do for right now. So right here, you can see that I have switched out the pull station, which was in uh, a BNG-1TS in the last video. Um, and right here, uh, you have seen this a couple of times, this is my uh, Simplex 4099-9006 addressable dual action T-bar. Um, I am using it as a conventional pull station by taking the wires from the switch and using them as pigtail leads. And that is why I have a trouble on the panel. You can see that says trouble three monitor conventional pull station. Uh, that's because there was no way for me to put the resistor there. And so the panel thinks there's an open circuit. So, yeah. But besides that, if you take a look inside the panel, you can see that everything is normal. You have the batteries, which are pretty much exactly a year old. So, you know, in a couple years' time, they might need to be replaced. But for right now, they're good. Uh, as you can see, I did electrical tape the 120 volts wiring because I kind of like not being electrocuted. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, nothing's changed up here with the wiring, so... Yeah, everything's good with the panel. There's the junction box for the SLC and the NAC, all coming from the panel. Up here, we have the Notifier FSP-851 addressable photoelectric smoke detector. Nothing has changed with this, and unfortunately I, uh, I won't have time to test this today, but it does work. To our first alarm, we have the Potter LFHS-110R low frequency sounder. This will, be, uh, this will be doing code 3, and it is fixed 110 candela. To the left of it, we have my Siemens U MHU MCS. This has been a, quite a few videos recently. Um, I've shown this, so <laughs> yeah, I really like this alarm. Uh, as I may have said in the previous video where I showed it going off, um, this was in all, pretty much every single school um, that I've, I've gone to, including the high school I go to right now. So, you know, it's the alarm I know and love, so... Yeah, that's why it's been in quite a few videos recently. Um, anyways, so I actually hate the way these things sound uh, when they're on FWR, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna actually unplug the panel right here. As you can see, it's going into trouble, AC fail. Let's go ahead and silence that. There we go. And yeah, without further ado, Let's go ahead and pull the T-bar. There we go, alarm silenced. So now we can go ahead and reset the dual action T-bar. As you can see, it's now reset. And let's go ahead and reset the panel. This thing resets really fast, even faster than my MS2, which I love. As you can see, we're getting that AC trouble again, so let's go ahead and actually plug the panel back in. There we go. And then in a moment or two, we should see the trouble for the resistor not being in this pull station. So let's go ahead and wait and uh, acknowledge that once it comes up. If it ever comes up. <laughs> there we go. All right. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this system test. Like I said, um, didn't really have a whole lot of time to make this, so I apologize for it not being as uh, uh, well put together as it usually is, but um, hopefully the next system test will be a little bit better. Uh, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and have an awesome day.